While it would be nice to have an acoustically treated studio to record in, the reality is, is that most podcasters are working in whatever space they have. These spaces can be prone to having excess background noise, which can be distracting for the listener. This is why we've included the noise gate into the Rodecaster Pro. Like the compressor and de the noise gate is a specialized dynamic processor that will attenuate your audio signal when it drops below a certain point. It's easiest to imagine the noise gate as an actual gate that swings open whenever you're speaking, allowing audio to pass through, but swinging shut whenever you're not speaking, preventing any background noise from passing through. In its basic mode, the Rodecaster Pro has a great noise gate preset, but I'm going to show you how to use the advanced version to tailor the noise gate to your recording environment. To access these advanced controls, make sure Effects Edit Mode is enabled in your advanced settings. Then navigate to the audio processing page for the channel that you want to edit and tap Noise Gate. Here you will be presented with the controls for Threshold, Attack, Hold, Release, and Range. Noise gates can be somewhat tricky to set up correctly, but I'm gonna show you an easy technique that will help you get started. Firstly, turn all your controls down to the lowest value, including your threshold and range. While speaking into your microphone at the natural level you'll be using in your podcast, not whispering or shouting, gradually increase the threshold until you find a point at which your voice starts to cut out. So I'm gonna start talking into my microphone and adjust my threshold to around about the point where I can start to hear my voice start to cut in and out and around about minus 31 is a good spot for that. When you've found this spot, turn the threshold down about 6 dB. So for this example here, we'll run about minus 31 dB. Our voice kept on cutting out, so I'm gonna turn it down to around about minus 37 dB. And there you go. You've just found the sweet spot that matches the level of your voice, and you can leave the threshold set in place. Next, we can move on to the other controls, the attack, hold, and release. The attack slider will adjust how quickly the gate will open when you start talking. The hold slider will adjust how long the gate will stay open for after you stop talking. The release slider will adjust how quickly the gate will close after you stop talking. Now, if you are looking for a nice natural place to start, the attack can be set anywhere below one millisecond, with a hold and release set to about halfway up the scale. The last slider on this display is the range. This will essentially control how much gain reduction will be applied to the signal when you stop speaking. Now at this very moment, we have it set quite severely and you can clearly hear that every time we stop talking, it chops the audio right off. Now in order to make this sound a bit more natural, we can back that off to about 40 dB. The key thing to aim for when setting your noise gate is not being able to hear it open or close at all. If your audio is chopping in and out, the background noise will be even more apparent. This is meant to be a subtle effect that is working behind the scenes. A good way to tell if you're on the right path is to use the enable function to check if your adjustments are improving the sound or not. If you find that your voice is being chopped off when you begin speaking, you might need to lower your attack. If you find that you can hear some background noises when you're not speaking, adjust the range to a lower value. If you find your voice is being chopped off before you stop speaking, you'll need to lower your threshold or increase your release. This can be somewhat laborious, especially if you are recording somewhere noisy. In some cases, where there's lots of background noise, it can be very difficult to completely cut this out, so always try to record in the quietest space possible. If you've been tweaking the noise gate and you've gotten into a really bad spot that you're not too happy with, you can always use the undo function in the top left-hand corner to revert your settings to back to where you started. And lastly, remember you can always adjust all of these functions from within the Rodecaster Pro companion app. Thanks guys, and happy podcasting.